But this is such a new field of medicine. Okay, you're talking about stem cell therapy. Yes. It's the blood taken from the umbilical cord just after childbirth. The cells from that blood can be used to treat illnesses that were thought otherwise incurable. I mean, it's, it's fascinating. It's brilliant. But I have to stress that... I know, I know. It's, it's never been used in an illness like Dimitri's. Science is there. It should work. But we can't be sure. You've tried everything else. Mm-hmm. Including a volatile experimental drug. And there was only some improvement. In my opinion, I, I, I think that's just temporary. Well, then why don't you try it? The stem cell therapy. What's the risk? Well, Alex. Alex, my, my brother is lying in a hospital bed. He's using every ounce of his life fighting to try to stay strong for us so that we don't suffer. But he's dying. And you know it. Slowly but surely, he is slipping away from us. But as long as he's alive, there's a chance, right? I mean, how can you not take this chance? How can you not risk it? I mean, what is the risk when he's facing certain death? Well, th therapy? It could fail outright, and then Dimitri could die. But worse than that, I think... Alex, what is worse than that? It could prolong his life without actually improving it. I mean, what kind of existence is that for him, being confined to a hospital bed? He won't be well enough to go out and ride his horse or play with Maddie or... Just do the things he loves to do. And really, I mean... Who are we to make that choice for him? You know he can't make decisions about his treatment right now. Alex, ever since you've come into town, you've said that all you've done is follow Dimitri's wishes. Well, this isn't an easy matter, and I haven't discussed it with him. I think it'll be easier for him than we're making it. I mean, think about it. If there was the slimmest chance of a full recovery, don't you think he would jump at it? I mean, come on, that's the Dimitri you and I both know. I'd do anything to have my husband back. But you're forgetting that I'm a doctor and I understand the pitfalls ahead of us. Okay. What are they? Well, in my opinion, I think it would be cruel to raise Dimitri's hopes when there may not be time. His strength is ebbing so fast, and it could be very difficult to find a compatible donor. Compatible donor? Yes. That's our first order of business. Where are you going? Forgive me. Forgive me, I, I listened to your conversation. Oh, good, because I need your advice. I, he doesn't fully understand the situation ahead of us. I'm afraid I don't either. But as someone who's managed to outlive almost everyone I've ever loved, I can say this. If there's anything, if there's anything at all that you can do to save Dimitri, I, I beg you to consider it. I am. Oh, please, I will. please, I'm not trying to minimize a very, very difficult decision. And I know the decision is yours. You are his wife. But before you make that decision, I think there's something I should tell you about Edmund and, and about and about Dimitri. I said that Dimitri and Edmund were were raised together well. Thank you. That's not strictly true. 
Yes, Dimitri was raised here in this house in comfort as Hugo's son and heir, but Edmund was raised as the caretaker's son in the gatehouse. Actually, I discovered that he had been physically abused by his stepfather. Oh, no, that's awful. Yes. Of course, Dimitri, as soon as he found out, did everything he could about it. He didn't know in the beginning. And that explains why Dimitri would never... He would never hurt Edmund again. And Edmund would do everything in his power to be sure that Dimitri was saved. That explains so much. <laughs> it certainly is a complex relationship. Eugenia... All I want is to be true to my husband. Oh, but you have. You have. Dimitri will understand why, why you told Edmund and why Edmund told Gillian and me. You have help now. You can rely on us and rely on Edmund to do everything, everything to save our lovely, our dearest Dimitri. <laughs> <laughs>